Hello, 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 everybody. Woo! Welcome to Kerry <laughs> Today. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm one of the leaders here, and this is Natalie. Hi, guys. It's a dry, grey, dreary day it here is. in Bracknell. Yeah, very grey in Bracknell. Yeah. Hopefully it's sunnier wherever you're watching from. We know that the sun will be out in West White. It will you? be. Because the sun's always out in West White, Ben. It's the beach <laughs> the and they get all it. the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, well done in West White for all the great weather you've got right now. Um, enjoy us misery in the rain today but how are you doing Natalie how's your week been yeah been I've right? had a great week I'm on half term oh, so shout out yes. to all the students teachers and people that work in schools <laughs> we've had dreamy weeks it's yeah. been great um <laughs> actually I've had I've been involved in something really fun this week yeah go on. I um some of you might have heard of the team leader course that we've run a couple of times and I've been helping film some content for it so had the very privileged position of working with some of our production crew. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well done, production crew. Um, but yeah, filming some content for that. So keep Fair your enough. eyes out for that. Very um, good. Notice a bit later in the year. Yeah, is there good money in it? Did good money. <laughs> Received your money. I did, however, get um, an Easter egg bought for me. So for me, that's the best form oh, of nice. finance. Oh, yeah, nice. Did you say, have you eaten it or have you uh, saved it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need to talk about that. I couldn't save that to April. That's far <laughs> too far away. <laughs> what um, about your week, Ben? Uh, well, week has been pretty normal, you know. Most days are quite similar right now, aren't they? Yeah. But uh, last night, Heather and I played... It's not a board game, but it's a thing called Exit, the board game. Oh, yes, um, yeah. It's like an escape room, but you do it at home. So it like comes in a little box, and you basically... There's, like, riddles and games and yeah. little things to try and figure out what the answer is. So we played that last night. I actually got it for her for Valentine's Day to, for us to spend some quality time together. A very good Valentine's present. Yes. Well done. Thanks yeah. very much. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um, so we, play, we, we get this game out, and we're like... You know, we've done it before. It's quite, like, it's quite full on. Yeah. So we were like, start nice and I think I've played one with you guys before. You and have, it, is, yeah. it is intense. Yeah, so we, <laughs> Very intense. we started at about 8, 8, 8 p.m. And it's quite tricky. And, and we, we ended up just being so stressed out by the end of it. We're like, oh, and we're like, we yeah. couldn't get it. And we're like, should we just get a hint clue? Yes, just cheat anyway. We ended up cheating <laughs> just so we can get to the end of this thing. Because it was just oh, so stressful. Yeah. And like, oh, my goodness. So you think, oh, you think what's going to be a nice romantic yeah. time together? It's very stressful. Ends up being a total nightmare. So that's uh, the thing with To be board honest, games. I find board games stressful full stop. Well, they, <laughs> like, they are. In my family, they're pretty much banned. <laughs> banned. <laughs> like, banned. We don't talk. Board games are like not a word you mention. Oh dear, right. No, no, it's too many. Well, there's, too the competitive, there's the competitive types yeah. on there. Yeah, who, competitive. You, know, you just can't play there's them. There's the sore loser type. Sore loser types. There's the people and that And the like, bad winner type. The bad that's, <laughs> the thing. that's my family in a nutshell. <laughs> but also there's the I don't care types. There's yeah. the... <laughs> Yeah, um, the, the I don't, the care, I don't type care types are the worst. They're annoying. They are the worst. They're annoying. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> what sort of type are you when it comes to board games? Are there any board games that are banned in your house? Yeah, uh, like any nothing? that my family should avoid. Yeah, we, no. <laughs> yeah, so any stressful board game stories, we want to hear them in the chat. Stick them in the chat, we'll read them out a little bit later, hey? Yeah. Um, Right, so should we share a little bit about things coming up in church and what's going on? Yeah, well, something that you probably have noticed if you've been around for a couple of weeks is we've been having live prayer every week now. Mm. Um, so if you're watching live today, don't forget that on the Carith website, you can click the live prayer button and one of the team will come alongside. You'll go into a private kind of chat room where you can talk about kind of what you want prayer for. Yeah. And um, actually, I was um, working on the online um, hosting last week and it was so great to hear so many people kind of joining in with that prayer and asking for it because it's kind of the thing I've missed about church and yeah. it's just so nice that we can yeah. kind of pray for each other and have that community online so yeah, yeah don't Cheers. forget to click that button yeah it's a really good idea um, and we've got a special shout out to do this morning <gasps> yeah. um, so we, we, we don't want to mention like everybody's birthdays no, and everybody's many. like special <laughs> occasions but this is a particularly special one and somebody messaged us in um, that yesterday Saturday the 20th it was Rod and Mish Bindley's 50th wedding anniversary Woo! yesterday so that's Shout amazing. Out to them. Like, what an 50 years. That is amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations, guys. So, that is a message from Holly, Claire, Bo, Jude, and Harper. I want to wish you best, as well as the whole of Kerith. Yeah. Um, happy wedding anniversary. Let's stick some love for them in the chat today. Yeah. So good. So, so good. That's amazing. Well, today our focus is all about financial well being. And one of the things we're going to talk about a bit later is the Cat Money course. Um, but another charity we wanted to mention was Compassion UK. And I know lots of people in the church um, give money to Compassion. And actually, 
has a kids uh, kids work at Carith Kids. They sponsor two children. They sponsor um, a little boy called Deo and a little girl called Alondra. Um, and it's been great to kind of see how Carith Kids have kind of sponsored them. They mm. write letters to them. Yeah, and yeah. Normally, when we're physically at church, that's kind of part of their giving, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's really um, cool. Yeah, it's, it's just really, cool. really great to kind of see that. Um, but we wanted to give you a little bit more information about what Compassion do. So uh, let's watch a short video. In a given week, we'll go at least for three days without food. The friends that I played with in the neighborhood got captured and was being trained to become child soldiers. We would beg our parents just to buy one apple, but even the rotten ones we could not afford to buy. In a period of 18 months, I lost my small brother Patrick, my mom, and I lost my stepdad because of the terrifying disease of HIV AIDS. When my mother died, I was lost. I was looking for hope, for God to just show me that everything was going to be okay. Not knowing what tomorrow will look like, not knowing whether I would have a home, whether we would live to see the next day. I don't know why Aaron Mitchell decided to sponsor me, but when he did, my whole life changed. A group of people from Compassion showed up at my church. They said, you're gonna go to school, and then somebody's going to write to you. I don't have to worry about whether my parents would have enough money to keep me going to school. Even if I get sick, someone was there to take care of me. I felt safe. I felt wanted. My sponsor is Edwin Bunny. Maria and Hanshru. Aaron, me too. Five women from a Lutheran church that were sponsoring me. I am now a physical therapist and I'm working in a hospital. Clinical social worker. I was the first child in my family to go to high school, to go to college. I have a bachelor and a master in, in, in biomedical engineering, a second master in engineering management, and uh, I called me into ministry, so I had to go and get a third master. I have a ministry called Youth Arise Africa that works with boys who don't have father figures. We opened a small school. It's now providing the same opportunity that Compassion provided to me so that they too can break out of the cycle of poverty. Whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. You do for me. You did for me. You did it for me. Sponsor a child today to break the cycle of poverty in a child's life like my sponsor did for me. Amazing stuff there, seeing a little bit about what Compassion do. And uh, today we're really privileged to be able to interview the Partnership Director of Compassion UK, and that is James Waddle, everybody. So let's give him a hand as he comes in. <laughs> hey, James. Good morning, everyone. How, How you, have you been? Yeah, good to... Thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. You had an early start as we get you to do a sound check <laughs> at 8.15 today. And so thanks for uh, doing that. We really appreciate it. Um, are you all right in the mornings? Are you a morning person? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit of a morning person, to be honest. And, and in a normal world, I'd be getting up early to go to church somewhere. So it's no big deal. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And so this morning, we've been talking a little bit about board games and the different types of board game players there are. So uh, what about you? Are you... Are you a competitive one? Are you an I don't care? Um, are you a cheater? Oh, no, no, no. Um, with, with this accent, you can tell that uh, winning competition <laughs> is absolutely yes, everything. And whether it was Scrabble, <laughs> Monopoly, Ten Wee Winks, it was a fight in our house. So, yeah. <laughs> I love the extreme of those board games that you just mentioned. I'd, I'd love to see Tiddlywinks break out into a fight. Yeah, me too. O only in a Scottish family, maybe. That's, maybe that's all it is. Um, so, uh, James, we've sort of chatted lots, and um, the BV crowd might recognise you as um, you featured as part of our Kerith Carols the other year um, when yeah. we gave money to Kerith Carols. But can you tell us a little bit about yourself so we can get to know you? And um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about your, your, your life. Okay. Um, well, even with this accent, I actually live in Whitney in Oxfordshire, just on the edge of the Cotswolds, lovely part of the world. 
uh, family here. Um, we've been in our family bubble like everybody else for the last 12 months. And the world has got very small for us, but we thank God we've been really blessed. But as I said about the accent, originally obviously not from Whitney, I'm from Glasgow. And for those of a certain age, they may have heard of a place called the Gorbals in Glasgow, which was tenement housing. Uh, we were a family of six, myself, three sisters, mum and dad, two rooms. One room was the kids' bedroom, all four of us. The other room was mum and dad's bedroom, living room, kitchen, everything else. Smallest room in the house wasn't. It was in a landing uh, shared by three other families. But that was normal for us. That was our upbringing. And, um, and well, God was good to us even then and um, even in that situation. And I can, one of my earliest memories is being packed off to Sunday school every Sunday, hundreds of kids going to Sunday school, three o'clock every Sunday afternoon. And of course, for my mum and dad, that was just to get a bit of peace and quiet, a little oasis in a week of turmoil with all of these kids. And I actually had 50 cousins live within wow. half a mile of my home. Wow. Our home was never empty. <laughs> yeah. What a great upbringing. And, and, and I thank God for it. And, and he got a hold of our family very, very early on, which was terrific. Amazing. That's Amazing. Fab. Can and you tell us a bit about how you came to do the work you do at Compassion mm. then? Well, I'll, I'll sort of a long story short on, on all of that. Um, I said God got hold of us very, very quickly. But actually, like most young teenage lads, Christianity for me was a little bit up and down. In fact, it was more down than it was up. And then eventually God sort of got a hold of me when I was about 21. And as he often does, you know, he brings us to a crossroads. Probably you've experienced it as well. Um, although, Natalie, I've got pairs of socks that are probably older than you. <laughs> I've experienced that a bit more than, than you have. Um, but life is full of ups and downs. But he does bring us to that point where he says, you've got a choice now. Follow me. Do your own thing. And at 21, I decide I'm going to follow him. And again, yeah. yes, the ups and downs. Yeah. And, and I've had a great career in sales and marketing. I was head of sales and marketing for a, a Swedish a multinational. But at one point, God said to me, it's time for a change. He took me out of that uh, very quickly. I went to CVM, the Christian Vision for Men, the Gathering, uh, the Field and Swindon thing that they, that they do, 2,000 men. And compassion were there. And they said, we're looking for blokes like you. I had left my job. I was seeking what God was going to do next. And there was compassion saying, we're looking for blokes like you with skills, with experience, with time in your hands. Come and have a chat. Cut long story short, part-time job. I'm now director of partnerships. I don't quite know how all of that has happened. <laughs> but God gave me a promise. And he gives us, gives us all a promise. I'm not going to waste anything in your life. Mm, mm. You're good. You're bad. Your skills, your experience, and God's given me an opportunity to use all of those again with the work of compassion. It's been terrific. That's amazing. I think, yeah, some people just need probably need to hear that this morning. Yeah, yeah God doesn't waste anything in their lives. No. And so, uh, yeah, thanks for sharing that. Um, so, um, I'm sure lots of people may have heard of Compassion if they're sort of um, part of sort of church world really here in the UK or, or globally really because of global mm. global organisation. But the, the the mission statement is releasing children from poverty um, in the name of Jesus. So can you tell us a little bit really how do Compassion do? What do they do to to achieve this and and mm. your involvement in that as well? Yeah. Okay. A quick story. Um, as many organisations do we were looking to extend our reach and, and become more well-known and all that sort of thing. So they brought in a consultant, this is the board, Compassion International, brought a consultant in with those questions. How can we extend our reach? How can we make a bigger difference? A report comes back saying, well, actually, you should be a bit less Christian, not so overtly Christian, because actually that will extend your reach. Thankfully for us, what Compassion Board decided was it was no longer just release children from poverty, it was release children from poverty in Jesus' name. Oh, so cool. for us, first and foremost, we've got three C's. We do what we do because of what Christ has done for us. Mm. We do mm. what we do through the local church because we, the church, have the mandate to make the difference in people's lives. And we focus primarily on children. Mm. And there are many folks in Kenneth. You mentioned the two that the Kerith BV support, those two children. But there are many others in Kerith, I'm sure, who are already supporting 
compassion by sponsoring a child. And that's primarily what we do. We want to see a child blessed in every way possible, education, healthcare, social and spiritual development, and through one-to-one -one sponsorship, just as your church is doing with these two children, we see their lives transformed. We see them given hope because of that sponsorship and everything we're then able to pour into their lives. Amazing. That's really great. That's really it? great so to hear, yeah. So, so um, this last year, right, since, since March last year, and the pandemic really took hold here in the, in the UK. Do you want, can you just share a little bit about um, how the work has changed or adapted, you know, for, mm. for the yeah. UK-based people, but also uh, globally? What, what's it looked like this last year for Compassion? Well, like, like everyone all around the world, it has completely changed uh, how we view life, how we do life. And, uh, and for Compassion in particular, you mentioned earlier on about uh, and education and healthcare and all of those things. And that, that's primarily done through, you know, children go to school, children go to a project every Saturday, 300 kids turn up. It's a bit like my Sunday school all those years ago, but on steroids, it is an amazing sight to see. But anyway, um, pandemic arrives, schools close, businesses close, wherever you are in the world. And so the early decision that Compassion made that our generous supporters continue to send their money in for their children. Well, we decided that there was going to be three things that we were going to do through the pandemic period. We were going to make sure that they got food to eat, they and their family, that they were going to get um, mm. clean water, they were going to get health care, and, and, and also they were going to make sure that they weren't put out in the street. Because if you can imagine, here in this country, we are blessed. I know it's been a tough time, I'm not in any way undermining how difficult it's been for many of us, but we do have a health service. We do have a welfare state. We do have furlough schemes. We have all of these things which help. But if you're in Matari in Kenya, 800,000 people in five square kilometers wow. where there is no welfare state, how do you socially distance? Yeah. How do you pay your rent when you can't work? How do you feed your children when you can't work? Well, Compassion said, we are going to make sure you get the necessities of life to survive this pandemic. And then when schools reopen, we will see you flourish again in Jesus' name. So that's immediately what we did and continue to do that. And now as the projects begin to open up again, as schools begin to open up, all of those other things are beginning to flow into those children's lives and into their families. So mm. That's been the biggest difference. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. James, can you tell us a little bit about how we can help as individuals. You mentioned that some people sponsor individual children, but do you want to tell us yep. a bit more about that? Yeah, certainly can. Um, we do have this one-to-one -one sponsorship scheme. Um, it is about me. I've got a couple of kids that I sponsor. And, and in a sense, they're almost like an extension of my family. The, the photographs are on my, my notice board right here. Look at them every morning. And, and so I get 28 pounds a month, and that guarantees this child healthcare, education, nutrition, social and spiritual development. And, and it's, it's life transforming for them. Frankly, it's been life transforming for me. It's been a wonderful thing to be able to, to get, um, to, to feel that sense of privilege. And you know, how can folks help? Well, I know that you're talking about financial well-being today. And um, God has blessed us in many, many ways. And, you know, I've always got this little bit of tension every time somebody asks me that question because we don't talk about money in the UK. We don't do it very mm. well. It all gets a little bit fuzzy and, oh, you can't ask yeah. this and you can't ask that. Well, I'm just going to put a challenge right out there. Because when I started in this job, God said to me, you've got a voice for the voiceless, you've got a voice for me. And some people aren't going to like that voice because it's going to challenge them. But actually, you still need to speak up. And when I stand before the Lord in heaven, I want to say, yeah, I was a voice for the voiceless. And so I am going to challenge folks. For £28 a month, you can totally transform a child's life, just very briefly. So in this pandemic, folks say, oh, you've heard this. Oh, we're all in the same boat. Actually, we're not. We're all in the same storm, but we're in different boats. Mm. I'm on a bit of a cruise liner, frankly, in this storm. <laughs> I'm going along yeah. quite happily. And okay, I can't go for a cup of coffee at Costas or other 
stores. I can't go to the cinema. I can't do this and I can't do that, but I'm healthy and well and blessed. Yeah. And the children we represent, they're actually in a life raft. And they need somebody to come along and say, can I come in your boat, please? Can you help me out with this? And you'll see on your screen now there's a QR code. You've got a smartphone, show your smartphone to that QR code. And a number of children that are looking for a sponsor right now, they will come up on your screen. And I would challenge you, if you get room in your boat, there's a picture of those kids now. They're waiting, waiting for a sponsor who's going to see their life transformed. And many of you, I'm sure, could do that. Many already are, and we thank you for it. Yeah, that's great, James. Thanks so much. And that, that line you said there, you know, we're not all in the same boat. We're all... We're all in a, you know, we're, we're in the same storm, but yeah. different boats. I just think that's that's it's really powerful, insightful, yeah. really helpful. James, thank you so much um, for coming on this today. Just looking at the chat, um, we've got a fellow Glaswegian in the chat, by the way, saying <laughs> great to hear a Glaswegian accent. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, people really grateful for you coming on and uh, really like loving the work of Compassion. So, thank you so much, and um, we'll speak soon. God bless you and all yeah, the rest of the pleasure. staff at Compassion. Um, there's a lot of BB people and, and others from other sites as well who work for Compassion. And so, you know, we, we, we're so grateful for those in part of Kerith who work for Compassion, as well as yourself, James, and others as well. So thank you. And uh, just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> bless you, folks. God Thanks bless. very much. It's been See a pleasure. You, James. See you James. Thank soon. you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mm. Great. Bye. Really great. Yeah, it was so good. Really cool. Such a great guy. And, uh, yeah, so that, that link came up. And uh, if you missed it, don't worry, you can watch this back on demand um, on the YouTube yeah. channel to grab that link. I'm sure the digital hosts could stick that link in the chat as well um, if you wanted to sponsor somebody. Um, we wanted to show um, a bit yeah. of a video from um, Sonia Hopkin, our family's lead, um, who gives a little bit of direction to the kids. This is from Kids TV about how how you might be able, maybe um, sponsoring one child is, is too much, but maybe you want to donate and give towards um, Dale and Alondra. Yeah. Um, so let's watch this short video from Sonia who gives us a bit more info on that. I've got two friends that we haven't spoken about recently on here. They are Alondra and Dale. And don't forget, we sponsor these guys through compassion. When you meet on Sundays in your site, in your kids group, so many of you bring your money. Now because we're not meeting at the moment, we are still sponsoring them. And we thought we'd give you and your grown-ups an opportunity to give some money to sponsor them if that's something you'd like to do. Rather than bringing your coins, bringing your pennies on Sunday, you can do that online. So grown-ups, you can go to kerith.church forward slash giving and you can select the bit that says other giving. And under there, there's a drop down that says compassion kids. And you can give some money if you'd like to do that towards Dayu and Alondra. It looks after their physical needs, it looks after their emotional needs, and it looks after their spiritual needs, that money that you give. Great. So it's a really uh, great way in which you can be involved in uh, help sponsoring Dayo and Alondra there. Um, um, just hearing from Penny Lander on the chat on YouTube there, she, um, we started sponsoring a boy in Indonesia when he was four. Now he's 29 and a research scientist and a worship leader at his church. Such a privilege. Wow. We connect with him on social media. Wow. Isn't that, that cool? Amazing. That's amazing. It's just really amazing. Good. And there's lots of stories like yeah. that that come out from Compassion, which is, which is yeah. so cool. So cool. Now... It's game time, Natalie. Oh, dear. Right. And uh, <laughs> if you watched Kids TV this morning, they played a bit of a game called Bruce... Is, well, not Bruce's prices, right? It was originally... Well, I don't know if it was originally his I don't know. Game. Was yeah. it originally Bruce's? I think it was, yeah. May, may, maybe it was, but anyway... Anyway. We're playing just... <laughs> Price is right. Kerith's price, the price is, right. is right. The, the price the is price. right. Generic. <laughs> the price is right. Yeah. What we're going to do here on Kerith today, we're doing it a little bit differently. Um, we're going to look at Christian book sales, Ooh, okay. everybody. We're gonna, I'm going to show you <laughs> yeah. some Christian books and you right. on the chat are going to play along as well. You're going to have to guess what the price of this is. Okay. So we're going on recommended retail right. price, RRP, that yep. is on the back of the book. I'm noticing that I've actually bought quite a few of these books that are next to me, right. so I should know. Sh should know this, should know <laughs> okay, this. Yeah. Unless the price you're going to give is the value that you'd place on its content. <laughs> then yeah, oh dear. <laughs> so we're going to play it and then along each one you go higher yeah. or lower and you say okay. you have a guess. Put it in the chat, we'd love okay. to hear how many you think you can get right. If any of these Ooh, shock us right, as well. Yeah. Okay, you might recognise some of these authors as well. <laughs> might which is do, very yeah. So we're going to start with How to Pray by okay. Pete Gregg, the uh, well-known sermon series that we did the other year so as well. So do I have to guess the price? I'd like you to guess the price of How to Pray by Pete Gregg. Um, Stick it in the chat. Okay. I, I'm going to put myself out there and say 8 99 8 99 Yeah. You're, 
too low. It is 13.99. Oh <laughs> 13. <laughs> I think I usually look for an offer. <laughs> okay. okay, next. Okay, so, right. 30, going going from 13.99. Yeah. Next, we are looking at 40 Days with Jesus, another right. preaching series that Kerry okay. did. Yep. This one, we actually haven't got an RRP on this, so we're looking at the price right. that is on eden.co.uk, which okay. is a great oh, Christian bookshop. Yeah, they, they do good prices. I reckon yeah. lower. You think lower? Yeah. Lower than thirteen ninety nine. You're right. It's seven ninety four. Yes. Seven ninety four for Dave Smith. That's such a random. I oh, know it is. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Seven ninety four. That's that's by Dave Smith, who also that wrote the Wellbeing yeah, book. Yeah, enjoyed that. that. Yeah. In a minute. So seven ninety four. Yeah. Right. Moving on to the next one. Okay. Back to Pete Gray. Okay. God on mute. So at the moment, 24-7 prayer over Lent are doing yeah. a whole load of stuff um, based on this, right. about unanswered prayer and things like that. So this book is all about um, unanswered prayer and Lecture 365 and there's a new prayer course out as well, all based on this sort of stuff. Okay. This is the old version of this though. Right. So the updated version um, on uh, what is its yeah, what is its price on eden.co.uk? Is it higher or lower than the last one? 794. Is okay. it higher or lower oh, than 794? Oh, it's got to be higher than that, judging from, right? It's got to be, judging by the last one. <laughs> judging by the last price, <laughs> it's got to be higher than seven quid. It is higher than seven quid. Yeah. 1187. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's, so yeah. that's not bad, that. Yeah. Not, not as expensive as how to pray. <clears> so you, you pay yeah. more to learn how to pray than to yeah. learn about unanswered prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. So now moving on to Chris Kandai, friend okay, of Kerith, right. um, founder of Home for Good, the adoption and fostering um, organisation. He's written this book called God is Stranger. Yeah. Um, God is Stranger. What do you think? Is it higher or lower than 1187? What do you think? Oh, that's a great cover, that is. It's a good cover. <laughs> I picked that up off the shelf. <laughs> it's a good cover. I love this one. I reckon slightly lower. Lower? Yeah. You're saying like lower? I'm thinking like about £12. Oh, no, it what was is. the other one? It is, it is lower, you're right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're right, it was. It was 11.87 and it's lower, it's 9.99. Yes, 9 okay, good, yeah. There you go. Moving on. You'll recognise this author, yeah. Jackie Webb again. Actually, Jackie Williams, when she wrote this, The Locust yes. Gears. I'm so also this enjoying is... the picture on the back of Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just the same now. Yeah, that doesn't age do. a bit, Jackie. Yeah. So Jackie, our BV site pastor. This is um, great. Okay. The Locust Years. Is it higher or lower recommended retail price than nine ninety nine? Nine ninety nine. Josh Josh Boyle on production says lower. Some oh. higher or lower than nine. I mean, what it's worth, Ben, is way higher, <laughs> but. <laughs> I reckon it's slightly lower. It is lower. It is four ninety nine. Wow, that is a that's steal. a bargain. Absolute bargain. A, bargain. a steal at four ninety nine. There, Jackie yeah. Webber. Low as she is. Second okay. to last one. We are on to the well known peach and coconut one. Just going to sure. say, I've, I've got a signed copy of this one. He's got a. I have, yeah. When Natalie, I was on Academy, got wow. it signed. Yeah. That is amazing. That is amazing. It might be um, worth something one day. Just bearing in mind, you can get this for free if you do the peach <laughs> yeah. and coconut course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think? If you didn't. Do the peach and coconut. Didn't do the peach and coconuts. What is the price on the back of this? Higher or lower than four ninety nine? What do you think? Put it in the Ooh. chat. What do you think? Yeah. Higher, higher oh, coming from the tech desk. Higher. Yeah, I'm gonna go higher. Yeah. It is higher. Mm. Six ninety nine. I was about to say six ninety nine. <laughs> I actually was. <laughs> actually gonna say higher, but it is higher. Six ninety nine. You get. Game, but of yeah. course, for free if you do the peach yeah. and coconut course. But there you go. Yeah. Um, Finally, last but not least, yeah. God's plan for your well-being. The majority of the church, again, we gave this out yeah. for free if you're in a small yeah. group, but what is Bargain. the RRP? It's not actually on the back, this one. Again, right. this is on eden.co.uk. Is okay. it higher or lower, Natalie, than 6 99 What do you think? What do you higher. think? Higher? Lower? It's got to be higher. It's got to be higher. It is. Well <laughs> yeah. done. It is. I'm quite impressed at myself for this game. Uh, you do, Way you've done so well. Way Christmas when it was the guess in the lyrics. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> £8.93. So there you go. There you go. That, that's the game for today. Yeah. I've enjoyed that. Now, um, what's it. next, Natalie? Should we find out what's happening today in church? Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. Um, so today, as you've heard already, we're looking at finances today. And it is the finance well-being week yeah and uh we've got simon over in the auditorium um Peach hello simon you there author, yeah i'm say. here <laughs> hello sir hello hello um, uh, great to see you guys you too you too we talk about board games a little bit so um any board game stories what are board games like in the benham household well growing up i always played a game called escape from cold it's and i've never seen it since it was a brilliant that game when great. we were kids and i had to gather all the stuff for your escape bid and then try and get out and uh, if anyone's Seen that? that? That was a great game. We, we play one called Exploding Kittens quite a bit now, which is yeah. doesn't yeah. actually involve yeah. any exploding kittens, that's but that's a bit of family favourite in the Benham household. <laughs> Love it. We play Exploding Kittens as well. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about the plan for this morning, what you're preaching on and, and things like that? 
Yeah, we're going to look at the whole area of financial well-being and what does it look like to flourish in our finances. And I really want to throw out two challenges. For those who feel they're struggling, um, I want to this morning comfort the afflicted. For those people who might feel that finances are an area that, that are not going well in their lives, I want to bring hope today. And those for, for those who feel like, actually, I'm doing okay in this area, I want to come and afflict the comfortable. I want to come and speak some challenge to grow in generosity, to grow in the way that you use your finances and view your finances today. So I'm really looking forward to preaching it. I think it's going to be a great Sunday. Fab. That yeah, sounds exciting. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, if you stick around at the end, there's going to be 10 minutes of question and answer. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you've got a question while Simon's preaching today, pop it yeah. in the chat and um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions yeah, at the yeah. end. Yeah, and anything finance related, really. If you if you preach about it or something maybe that you'd yeah. love to hear a little bit more about, just stick it in the chat and we're going to, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Looking forward to that. That should be right at the end Fab. of church today. So just before we go, mm. just a couple of mentions on other stressful board games. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Jackie says, um, Baker there Street 2021 A, Baker Street, which I've played before, it's like a Sherlock Holmes based game, it is, uh, it says, very engaging but can be impossible, which I've, I've heard yeah. that before. Monopoly deal is a great antidote oh, to board games. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Um, it uses cards to find three complete properties instead of a board, and some games can be over in a few minutes, not hours, which is, yeah. I think that is a trick there. Keep yes. them short. Keep, Keep them, them short, short less Keep, stressful. Yeah. Good, yeah. But, um, but yeah, thank you to all of those who've been chatting away in chat about all yeah, sorts of things. Yeah, that's brilliant. A couple fun. of things to um, be looking out for this week. All of the things that are coming up in the life of Carith Community Church can be found on our website, so make sure that you do have a look at anything that's coming up. We've got the Cat Money course starting soon, which yeah. I'll be explaining a bit more later on. Uh, this Friday, we've got K Cruise at Youth. K How exciting. You. Yeah, I've course. just joined a K Crew. I haven't joined one. <laughs> I'm too hard to <laughs> join one. I was going to say. But I've just started helping out at Great, K Crew. That's really good. So, really excited to see the best K Crew on Friday. Yeah. And then um, the first yeah. Sunday of every month as well is a kids' Zoom call that happens at this time as well. So, make sure if you've got children, they can log into that um, in just a couple of weeks' time. That'll be the next one so yeah. make sure you're into that as well fab so Work. time now to move into carith live so thank you so much for joining us at carith today and we'll see you next sunday see you later